force classification. Forces are either classified as contact or body forces. Okay, contact or body. What do we mean by that? Well, contact is is uh, easy to explain. Just if two surfaces are physically touching one another, your hand pressing down on the desk, okay, your foot on the floor, that's a contact force. A body force is a force that is applied via a field. A field. Okay, a body force is related to a field, meaning like a gravitational field. Right, we, you don't have to be touching the earth in order to experience the gravitational force. Um, right, the moon is not touching the earth, but it is orbiting the earth because of the gravitational force, which is through this uh, gravitational field. Right, so you've also got electric fields, magnetic fields, okay? So, contact forces or body forces, uh, and body forces are due to a field. Okay, furthermore, these forces can either be concentrated or distributed. Concentrated means we assume that it's being applied at a specific point. Okay? Or it's applied over a an area or a an area or a volume or a line. Those are um, those are distributed forces. Um, although all forces are actually distributed, right? So if you if you put your thumb down on it on the table, okay, just imagine that's a thumb, okay. Then of course, if you zoom in, then it is distributed over a certain area. But if you are looking at it in say the grand scheme of the table, say the table is quite large and you apply your little thumb there, then it can be assumed that it is a concentrated force and not a distributed force. Okay. Alright, so make sure that you understand what's concentrated, distributed, contact and body forces. Okay. Then, so weight is an example of a, um, a gravitational force. So, if you've Okay, imagine that's you. <laughs> imagine that's you. And so what gravity is doing is it's applying a force on every part of your body. Okay? So it's a, actually a distributed force over the volume of your body. But we can take it as being concentrated at a certain point. Okay, called the center of gravity, right? So we can take all this mass and we can find the center of gravity, which is explained more in chapter 5. And it is as if all that mass is concentrated in one point and gravity is acting on that point. Okay.